Hey guys, uh, so Mike from Mad Props, and I'm over here at Tech Shop today, uh, and I finally got uh, Coot from Fans Toys. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see it for yourselves, so we're going to do an official unboxing today and uh, show you the transformations. Okay, so here we have it, uh, Coot from Fans Toys, uh, aka Cup. And uh, this is uh, just an overall look of the box here. You see the um, box is very reminiscent of uh, all of the Masterpiece figures that we've come to know and love. Um, fans Toys themselves uh, have always done a great job with the artwork, things like that. So this is, this is what all of that looks like. Um, it's got some close-ups of uh, some of the characters you can see here. Um, got him with his Saigar on this picture here. Uh, shows a couple different options for his windows. So you can change the window and then it shows his Power Master, uh, Target Master guy. So and then here's his vehicle mode. And a pretty cool story. Uh, the story basically just uh, talks about him being an old time guy filled with war stories, things like that. Pretty, pretty awesome. One of my favorite parts. So. Um, all right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing so you guys can see it firsthand. Now, um, I already did unbox it yesterday and uh, lost all of my video footage. So we're just gonna pretend like this is the very first time I've opened this. Yay! All right, so here's our, uh, our instruction booklet. Um, typical instruction booklet, uh, just like normal. Um, comes with a uh, little little coot uh, collector card. Um, this right here is the QC uh, sticker that was actually on coot when I first opened them up to show that it's actually been tested and proven. So that's pretty awesome as well. Okay, so I already cut these. These are all open now. And so we'll go ahead and put this open here. So uh, standard styrofoam packaging that Fans Toys likes to use for all of their products. And uh, you get that same like weird clear rubbery uh, protective cover that goes over the top of cup. All right, and there you go. There's cup inside the package. Now I have already switched his face out. Uh, it came with the normal head sculpt, but uh, I went ahead and put on the Saigar, uh, so you can see that in its full glory here. So we'll, we'll take that out. Actually, uh, he's got his uh, his normal gun. there. Uh, so this is very G1 accurate gun. Um, it comes with this bag of extra goodies. Uh, there is two Saigars inside of here which uh, which is good to have because I think I already lost one. Uh, except there's some extra pieces. So these are the windshields, the clear windshields that you would get if you were uh, if you decided that you wanted to swap it out. So you got a couple of those. Um, I'm going to keep mine the way it is. I think I like it that way so you can't see through it. And it looks like I've already lost the second Saigar twice now. So I can show you that. Right, so there's a space. Um, and it really is uh, as easy as just pulling one face off and plugging in the other one. Um, I so we'll go ahead and focus on him a little bit. So you can see him. Uh, he's got a full ro rotation on his head. Uh, it doesn't really move up and down all that much, but it does have a side-to-side -side rotation pretty well. Uh, he's got some really good articulation ball joint here. Um, double, double ball joint here. So he's got a ball joint and then this part here. So he's kind of double jointed, which is pretty awesome. And then he does actually have a swivel in his uh, chest area. You just have to pull this back a little bit to give it room for it to swivel. But there you go. Um, there's a swivel. All right. Uh, he's got a uh, ball joint here uh, with, a, with a rotational pivot. Nothing here. And then a double joint here. Uh, but he does actually have a ball joint on his feet which wasn't necessary, but a good addition. So you can actually see um, he's got some pretty, pretty good posability here. So we'll go ahead and put him into a pose. So you 
guys can see. Alright, so there he is. Pretty cool little guy. Alright, and then uh, let's check out Cup, see what he looks like. Okay, so here we have Cup. Um, as I showed earlier, um, here's this. This Saigar here. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in there. So um, I, like I said, I glued that in so it doesn't come out because uh, this is pretty much my. This is what I think Cup should look like with the Saigar. Um, when they incorporated that into IDW comics, I thought it was brilliant and uh, just made him make a lot more sense. And he makes more sense being Coot as well because you know I think that was one of the names that he was called, like an old Coot. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so uh, he's got uh, he's got a ball joint here. Um, actually, it's not a ball joint; it's a pivot, uh, and then a soft uh, ratchet right here. You can kind of hear that. Um, he's got a double joint here, so he can actually pull this all the way up like that, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then uh, he also has his uh, rotation of his finger right here. And then he only has the one pivot for his fingers themselves. They're, they're all uh, stationary. There. Okay, uh, so all that. He does have a side to side pivot to move out of the way uh, to give him full range of motion front and back. Uh, nice ratchet joint here. Um, he's got more forward ratcheting than he does back. Uh, there's a plate right here that seems to be keeping him from going any farther than that. Um, he does have a sw uh, swivel right here, and then he's got a full range double double joint for his knee as well as a swivel pivot for his feet as well. So um, you can get some really great like you know full range stance from him. So there he is. Uh, that's, that's him in a nutshell. Looks pretty decent. Um, I'm really happy with how he turned out. Uh, show you the back here. Uh, he's got a pretty decent backpack. I'm okay with the backpack. Some people don't really like back kibble, but I think they did a good job with how they did the back kibble on this. And in the IDW comics, he actually has more of a backpack than in the G1. So it's kind of a good mix of both G1 and IDW comics all in one figure. So if you want it to be more IDW, uh, you can actually pull this thing out like this, lift that up, and then he's got his uh, he's got his wheels as well. So this gives him a cool IDW stance right here. Who is uh, notice right here? This is where everybody's been talking about. Um, where we're going to put his symbol so if you would put it right there if you just put a sticker there it's not going to work because this splits open when we do the transformation and you'll just have a uh, autobot symbol on two sides of another part so uh, i'm in a workout uh, product that will fit in this area uh, that will give you guys a another part to snap on there when he's in uh you know robot mode so uh, stay tuned for that all right so that was the opening of the box and let's get to transformation Okay, uh, we're going to start with the Target Master. Um, this one's pretty straightforward and simple. So uh, um, just to show you guys this guy, get him out of the way. So basically, um, that pulls back and then this whole thing pulls forward like this. His head kind of just falls in place in there. And then you don't have to turn anything. You just flip this guy over. Uh, and then his handle flips up like that. And that's the gun, bottom of the gun part. Uh, this part, you just fold these two pieces in like this, and then you pull them up and snap them together, like so. And then this part, the only thing you have to do is uh, pull these swivels around this way and close in the gap for his feet. And then these flip backwards like this and lock in place here. That's it. Gun is transformed. So, um, pretty straightforward. So, 
Okay, let's get into the cup here. Okay, so uh, a couple things I want to mention about cup here again. Uh, let's draw back a bit. Is uh, there's a few things that showed up in the instructions that were actually more confusing than just trying to figure it out on your own. So uh, hopefully I can uh, help square that away. Um, the first part would be these guys right here. This all folds outwards uh, so that we can get everything in. And uh, they don't, um, this is actually loose now. Uh, they don't show you this in the instructions. Um, let's go ahead and get a start here. So first you wanna lift these guys up. And that unlocks his front portion. So that pulls forward like that. And then you're going to pull his head out right here. So you'll see there's a little tab right here, and that's going to pull out. And then the whole backpack folds back like that. Pretty simple. Okay. Um, these parts are going to be pushed forward and locked in place like this uh, once you get into this part here. But you won't do this right now. This will be one of the last things that you do. And I didn't realize that until after I. Uh, got through the first time transforming it so uh, okay let's look inside here this is more important right now so let's talk about this so this is uh this is the front panel so we're going to pull that out like this uh, and then you're going to flip this guy back like that all right and then now we're going to fold these guys up in a 90 degree like this okay and then uh, this part here, the first time that you do this, uh, you're probably gonna have to use uh, like a flathead screwdriver or something. You wanna get inside right here. There's that little gap. And we're going to actually push this forward. So the first time I did it, it was really tough. And then after the first time, it was pretty easy. So let's see this here. So that flop folds all the way forward so you have that little pin gap right there. All right. Okay. Um, and then the next thing that we're going to do is we need to fold these two side pieces here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to fold these guys up like that. And then uh, you're going to fold this guy out so we can un unbox him uh, so we can pull this out a little bit more. All right. Uh, and then you're going to lift this guy up like this. So his waist piece uh, needs to put in there first um, to make room for uh, the other part that we're going to be putting in there. So we'll do that again to this side. You just kind of have to finagle it in there. that all right you see those um, and then here's the one that they tell you that, so this had to be done first but in the instructions they show you to do this one first and they don't even they don't even talk about this one so now you got to do this one and this one uh, these guys move around a little bit and they got some play so you're going to use that to your advantage um, when you're pushing this up so you're basically going to push this up and in there Give this guy a little bit more room here. Okay. So you're going to push this up, but you're going to kind of move this out of the way like that. All right. So that's flat like that, and then you're going to do the same thing on this side here. So once we've done that, now we can uh, move his arms downwards. All right, so we're gonna move that out of the way first. So the arms are gonna fold in right here and then down like that. Uh, you wanna pivot this inwards like this and then this part's gonna fold up and down like this. So 
things like that, okay? Um, you also wanna make sure that his hands are in the right position. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be that or it's gonna be flipped the other direction, but we'll figure that out in a second. Okay, so once you've got to that point there, you can now fold his wheels downwards on both sides. Um, this part here is going to stay loose because we're going to have to lock that in later. And now we can pull these apart. And I really have no idea. These things swivel inside of there. I really don't know why. So you can see that here. So this part here swivels around. And it, it really makes no sense like why they even added that feature. They should have just left it as one solid piece probably would have made transformation a little bit easier and less confusing. All right, so now these are gonna fold forward like this, and then this is gonna fold in place here. Just like that, and then there's a tab, and then those things will tab right in place there. Everything else will tab, should tab into place once we get this second part down. Okay, so next we want to fold this guy inwards like this. Uh, they actually have room in there for his side guard as well. So that's pretty good. All right, and then these guys here are going to fold down and inside there and disappear. Okay, uh, remember these things are going to just be kind of tossed over to the side here for now. All right, so now our next, I wonder if that actually does not fit in there. So I'm gonna try to put his head sideways. It might actually work a little bit better. Okay, so now we're just gonna move that forward and lock all of these pins into place here. locked into place. Remember this thing's going to stay loose like that. Uh, we've got our arms ready to go. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to flip this guy around. Alright, that's going to lock into place for the legs. And we want to make sure that the legs and everything are adjusted properly. Okay, uh, so the legs are a little bit complicated. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to kind of pull this apart like this pulls up and out, but I may have to remove, I'm gonna open this first, I don't know if that makes a difference. Just like that, all right? And then uh, you're gonna actually fold this like this, and then you're gonna fold this down like that. And then you're gonna fold this guy up like that. So it looks like that, okay? Same for this side. Uh, and then the next thing, uh, we'll do this on this side real quick. So fold that in, fold it down, fold it up. There we go. All right, now let's, uh, let's flip this over so we can see the other part of it. Um, like I showed earlier, when we did our uh, transformation to toy ver or IDW version. So you have to lift this guy here, flip that upwards like this, and that pulls his wheels out. And that also unlocks the ability to turn this thing around. So this part here, you'll see a little hinge. I'm gonna push that hinge in. And then that locks into place like that. All right, do the same on the other side. I'm gonna turn that that again, so that locks in place. Okay, now uh, you see these little pegs here? Those are going to peg into uh, this little peg right here. And this peg right here is gonna peg into these guys, but you'll have to make sure that these are uh, pushed kind of forward for this to work. And then 
this little tab here is going to tab inside of this and this one right here you have to actually work at it a little bit for it to all fall into place so we're going to do that first so make sure that this part's down and locked in and then we're going to pull this up and just kind of push it until it tabs in there this part takes uh, a little bit of work and you might have to do both sides at the same time uh, to get them to actually lock into place So we're going to tab right here, so right there, and right there. Uh, let's see. I think he's in. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so final piece is you're going to pull this to the outside, like that, for a minute. Um, just, just until we get the second half of this part done. Uh, and then this is going to fold in like this. And remember, this thing moves, so you want that to line up with that spot right there. You want this tab to go underneath this one, which is why this one has some flex to it. So once you get those two tabs lined up, and then this will tab in. So that one's not quite ready. way in this will lock in there and then you can actually push all of this forward and lock this into that tab there just like that same with the other side and that's cut he is done that all of this is pushed into place down here uh, so once everything's locked in place it should, uh, it should fit on all fours looks like it's rolling there it's got some springs on this he's back here he's hitting something He's got his artillery, uh, this guy swivels, so once you get that plugged in place, uh, that swivels around, does some cool stuff, uh, and it'll fit both his regular gun and his target master gun as well. Alright, uh, that's it, he's ready to go, I want you That's been it for this review. Um, I hope this uh, is helpful for you guys um, for the first look at uh, Cup in English, I guess. I've had a lot of people tell me that they've seen a couple of these in Japanese and other languages, but not English. So 
Hopefully this will help all you guys out and uh, I'll see you on the forums.